So my name is Lucia Dewey Atwood, and I'm the director of the 250-year project at the Eames Foundation. So my name's Eames Demetrius, and I'm the chairman of the board of the Eames Foundation, and I'm also one of Charles and Ray's five grandchildren. And it is a building that was uh, constructed and designed by Charles and Ray Eames, and it is a National Historic Landmark. About five years ago, we had an analysis done of all of the trees on site. The Molly tree had to come down for a very specific reason. You know, starting to lift up the railroad ties. And threaten the foundation of the house. And so if it went, it potentially could tear up part of the foundation. You know, and so uh, it needs to go. So in the 1880s, Abbot Kinney actually encouraged various people in the community to donate some land to the state of California for the purpose of forestry experiments. As a result, this piece of land was part of those forestry experiments. So when you look around the site, you will see these rows of trees. Many of these trees are original to the 1880s. Charles and Ray, they loved this row of trees. For a long time, the Eames office wanted to do skateboards, but you need to find the right partner because we don't make them. And so we've been researching for a while, heard about Globe, we started talking, and uh, it seemed like it would be a really great fit. We're not taking them down to make skateboards. We're taking them down to protect the house. It's a difficult decision. It's stunning. There's nothing more to say, really. What can I add? And so I got in touch with Jeff. Jeff is a person who really believes in the beauty and in the honoring of nature and the, these amazing trees. To our surprise, we get a call from the Eames Foundation saying, uh, we'd love for you to check out these trees that are coming down and could you possibly mill them and dry them? We reached out to Globe and said, what if this is our first project? And they were totally into it. These are sacred trees from a sacred site and in no way does anybody want any morsel of any one of these trees to be discarded or forgotten about. What we're all trying to do is make sure that the finished board has all the qualities we love about that wood. And so each one's a little bit different and from a slightly different part of the tree. You know, these are the things we grew up under. It's, it's a beautiful process to watch, cycle of life. You're seeing the image that Charles and Ray made of the trees to tell the story of the house they wanted to build. And so that's the image that is etched on the board. I mean, how, how meta is that? The idea that through this skateboard project that people will be able to have a direct connection to the house is pretty fantastic. So this deck was the first step in the partnership between Eames Office and Globe. So what do we do next? <laughs>